Hi guys, I am here with Marley. It's Monday afternoon and we got about two minutes to get to the vet. Yes, we're taking Marley to the vet to see what that bump is on his nose. It's right, right there. It's about the size of a very small pea. Um, I'm thinking it's probably just a fatty, fatty cyst or something, but we want to get it checked out, make sure it's nothing uh, that we need to be worried about. So yeah. You ready to go to the vet, Marley? You ready to go? <laughs> He's nervous because as soon as I put his harness on, all the boys started freaking out. Where's Marley going and we're not going? Um, and when I put him in their crates, they all started crying. Yeah, so Marley's kind of freaking out about what's going on. So it's a beautiful day here in Michigan today. It's only 78 degrees. Hallelujah. <laughs> it's cooled off. The humidity's gone down and I am very happy. So. Let's get to the vet. We'll check in in a bit and let you know what's going on. Okay, they took Marley back and they're gonna do a needle aspiration and he's gonna get his um, rabies vaccine um, while he's here too because I had an appointment August 8th to get that done. But since I'm already here, they said might as well get that done too and get his dog's license. So Marley's back in the back. <laughs> We're home from the vet. These dogs are so crazy. Grant's still sleeping in his uh oh now I hear him barking. Now he's barking. He was snoozing. So I left him in his crate because I was just letting them out real quick because I gotta run to Meyer. I mean he was snoring. <laughs> now he's barking. He says, hey, what about me? <laughs> Grant, I thought you were so you were so sound asleep. You were snoring. I'm sorry. I thought you were gonna stay sleeping. Come on. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Let's go. I'm sorry. <laughs> let's go out. I was just gonna put Marley in his crate because I've only been gone. Oh, half an hour. Come on, Grant. Um, I've only been gone a half an hour, so I was just going to put Marley in his crate and run to the store, but these dogs were going insane. I'm like, well, fine. I'll let you out. <laughs> okay, so they tried to do a needle aspiration on that bump on Marley's nose, but all they could get out was blood. They could get no um, cell, no cell materials for like a slide to look at it. So that led her to be, no Miggy, no. That led her to be half and half on whether or not it was something to be concerned about. So we talked about it and I decided let's just take it off. Um, it showed up really fast and she said usually with cancer it'll show up really fast um grow fast so and it we pet our dogs every day and that bump just appeared out of nowhere so um so we're gonna get it removed august 9th and they'll send it away and see what it is and cross our fingers since it's small if it is cancer um they can get it all out of there and um, he'll be good. So say a prayer for Marley. He goes August 9th to get that taken off. So yeah, more vet appointments to add to my list. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, I'm gonna let these boys do their business. I've got to run to the store. Um, I just wanted to let you guys know about his appointment today and what's going on. So hope everybody's having a great start to their week. And we'll talk to you guys again in the next video. Bye. I wanted to pop back on and mention too that this bump is underneath his skin. 
it's not sitting on top of the skin like most schnauzer bumps because I know a lot of us who have schnauzers um, have dealt with these little fatty cysts on our schnauzers. Um, those ones usually sit on top of the skin. Um, this one is actually underneath the skin on the bridge of his nose. So, And she said if it gets any bigger, it could be difficult to get all of it off because there's not much skin to work with on the bridge of the nose. So it's good we're getting it taken off and checked out while it's still quite small. So just wanted to mention that.